What's good, my dear language learning master? And welcome to a new episode of the Language Input Podcast, in which, as you know, uh, my main goal is to help you understand that we can all learn any language when join the process, every step of the way. I'm totally convinced, all right? And also to help you realize that, well, if you haven't been able to learn um, other languages up until now, it's not because you're not talented for languages, it's not because you know, you're never going to be able to do it. It's not because you're stupid or whatever it is. No, it's just, it's all about the, the traditional grammar approach, which is flat out horrible. <laughs> and it's hurt so many people all over the world when it comes to language learning. Um, and so yeah, one, one, of the, one of my goals with this podca- podcast as well is to explain the reasons why I think it's so horrible. Because unfor- unfortunately, it's just you see it's so dominant all over the world. You know, I, I, you know, I see it every day. It's not about you know we Spaniards doing it wrong. I mean, we do. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But it's not about we doing it wrong in Spain or in the United States or in England or in France or in Mozambique or in Australia or in Samoa. No, no, no. I say it every day. Is you know, it's it's just it's just so dominant all over the world that most people think that's the way to learn language, and you've probably noticed it's not, <laughs> right? But you know, I think ov- overall that's great news because it just tells us that we don't need to suffer as much. We don't need to memorize things. We don't need to consciously learn things in order to learn a new language, in order to acquire, rather, a new language. So, yeah, that, that, that's my main goal, all right? And, yeah, with that being said, let's get into today's topic. Uh, today, I want to talk about something important, once again, all right? And uh, today I want to talk about the fact that there's no shortcut to, le- to learning a language. Let, let, me, let me repeat that. There's no shortcut to learning a language, okay? And we adults, we're constantly, constantly looking for ways to sort of, you know, hack the system or hack our brains or uh, speed up the process or whatever you want to call it, you know. We're, we're, we're trying to use uh, flashcards in order to memorize words more effectively or quickly. We're, we're l- I mean, th- the whole grammar approach is just a desperate attempt from us adults to, to hack the system, as I like to call it, right? Uh, but the thing is, it just doesn't work like that. There's no shortcut to, to, to learning a language, you know. Because, uh, as I'm always saying, we we all have learned, uh, we all have acquired our native language when when we're kids, right? And we all follow the right the same principles, which 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 were you know just we listen to the language over and over again, pretty much twenty four seven, yeah, for quite a while until we were ready to start speaking until we were ready to start communicating, right? So basically, you know, input, comprehensible input is the key to the entire process and output eventually shows up as a consequence. You know, I've, I've talked about it many times, but you know, I, I think it's important to <laughs> keep pounding it in, in your heads, right? Like keep repeating it anyway. So, you know, we, we know how the process works. We, we've seen it uh, work, we, we've seen it happen. But for some reason, we adults, I don't know if we, you know, if you, if we just, if we're just lazy or flat as stupid. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, flat as stupid in the sense of as a society, you know, like we're always trying to hack the system. And like I said, anyway, which might not be a bad idea in other fields or in specific fields. But I mean, in general, I believe I mean, I'm going to talk about languages mostly, but I believe in general, um, I don't know if there's such a thing as shortcut to 
to hacking our brains or our minds or or the way we learn things but anyway that's that's another topic but you know let's get back to languages which is what i wanted to talk about today and and uh, yeah like i said be, uh, before we're always trying to you know you like i said use flashcards um use you know ideas revolutionary ideas or new methods or whatever it is in order to learn a language in 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 three months as opposed to two years which is pretty which is much closer to 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 the time you actually need in order to learn a language right um and the reason I'm I'm making this episode is first of all because it's true, <laughs> all right, and you know I don't remember where I mean I, I I've read it in in many in many places but you know people usually say that truth the truth is undefeated right so there you go uh, <laughs> so you know the thing is I'm making it because first of all it's the truth like i said because we've seen it over and over again and we continue to see it with kids all the time you know and we all acquire our native languages the process worked 100 percent of the time and continues to do so all right so it's not that i'm reinventing the wheel here it's not that i'm talking about some crazy again some other another crazy attempt to hack the system like i'm saying and uh so yeah, like I was saying, we're always we're, we're always looking for ways to to hack the system, to to find a shortcut, right? But there's no shortcut to learn a language, all right? And that my my that might sound like bad news, <laughs> you know, when 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 you first realize, but it's actually quite it's actually the opposite, all right? Because it just tells us again that we already know how the process works. We've seen it happen all the time so you know it, it again it's all about following the same principles by which we all acquire native languages you know a process that worked 100 percent of the time I won't, I won't get tired of repeating that okay so although it may sound like bad news because you know guess what you're not gonna be able to learn a language in a month all right so it might sound like good ne- like bad news excuse me but i think it's actually good news or it's actually great news because you actually know that if you follow the right principles, it's actually gonna happen. You know, you're gonna be able to make it happen. You're actually gonna learn the language eventually, all right? And, uh, you know, I, I've talked about this before on my project, but I, I keep, it's not that I get mad, but I don't really, I mean, it's not uh, how to put it into words. I really don't like, watching those typical videos that talk about how to learn a language in a month, in two months, in three months, in six months, etc. Right. Which again, it's a, a, a desperate attempt from us adults to, to hack the system. Like I said, um, because you know, l- let me, let me really want to tell you once again, that nobody ever in the history of mankind has learned a language in a month. Nobody. It's never happened, and it never will. Okay. Well, it never will. You never know with technology and, <laughs> and uh, you know artificial intelligence, AI. No, I don't know. Anyway, you get the point. You know what I mean, right? So the the reason I don't like those videos is because I've been on the other side. I've been in that place in which. I've consumed them because I was desperate to find an, uh, to find a shortcut to learn a language because through the traditional grammar approach I just couldn't do it because nobody can because it's just a horrible approach that has nothing to do with the uh, with the actual language acquisition pro- process, all right? Uh, and in the end, when when I watch several of those videos, you know, you would feel pumped out for a second because okay, you, you know, you. You thought you found a way to, like I said, to hack the system or to make it happen uh, quickly, you know. But in the end, you you try those ideas, you try those things that those people told you, and they they didn't they didn't they didn't help because you know you didn't learn the language, right? <laughs> because it just it just doesn't work that way. So what what ends up happening here is 
you get pumped up at the beginning, but you know, several days, weeks, months later, you end up even more frustrating and more depressed because you know you've been consuming that content and you think people creating that content have actually been able to pull that off. They've actually been able to learn a language in three months or whatever they claim, right? So in a weird way, even if you, if deep down you know that it's just impossible to learn a language that way, in a weird way you feel bad with yourself or you start thinking that you're not talented for languages and other ideas like that, that, that make you feel uh, frustrated, like I said. In a weird way, you think it's your fault because those people who created those videos made it happen and you couldn't. But let me tell you, those people didn't make it happen. You know, in the in the in the base case scenario, they think they did. All right, so they're not lying or anything. That's best case scenario. Okay. <laughs> uh, so once again, getting back to it. To, to, to what I mentioned in the beginning. There's no shortcut. There's no way to hack the system. It's all about, again, getting comprehensible input. Through comprehensible input, eventually you'll get there because that's how we all acquire our native languages. And it, hap it worked all the time, 100% of the time, okay? So the reason I think it's great news is because you know that if you follow the right principles, which, by the way, are going to allow you to learn a language by having fun, okay, <laughs> which is great as well. So no more memorizing, conscious learning, etc. So, you know, if, if you keep following the right principles, if you keep, keep getting comprehensible input, it's going to happen. Soon, you know, sooner or later it's going to happen. Depending on how, how long you get exposed to the language on a daily basis, you know, it's going to happen sooner or later, but it will happen. All right. But it's not going to happen in a month, in two or three, because the brain just, just doesn't work that way. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but it just doesn't work that way. All right. But uh, as I mentioned in, in the video in my, in my channel, uh, I talked about the fact that when I started learning Italian, all right. And you know, you can go over to that video for, for, for more context. You know, because again, I'm, I'm a native Spanish speaker, so Italian is always is closer to my native language. So it might be easier for me to learn Italian that, than for a Chinese person to learn Italian. All right. So, you know, you, you got all, all the context there. All right. But I actually, um, what was the word? I, f I forgot. Yeah. I actually documented every single thing I did in order to learn the language. Every single thing I did, meaning input, right? So meaning the resources uh, I use in order to get exposed to the language, whether that's uh, through reading or listening, right? And li like, I, like I talked about in that episode, all right? It took me around 500 hours of exposure to the language to get to a point in which I could start communicating, which in my case took me between one and a half years and two years to get there, all right? And yeah, you know, I talk about it in the video, but basically I started watching cartoons, reading comic books, etc. Because because of the similarities between my native language and Italian, I could understand cartoons right away. All right. So then, you know, cartoons, comic books, simple stuff, then little by little, I, I kept getting exposed to more and more complex stuff, you know, and uh, but yeah, long story short, it took me around 500 hours of exposure to the language to get to that point. And again, I'm talking about a point in which I could start communicating in the language. Naturally, of course, which is awesome, right? But I'm not talking about fluency whatsoever. No, no. <laughs> I was, believe me, I was far from fluency at that point. I'm, I, I, I'm still, f I mean, not far from it, but I, I'm, I'm closer, but like, I can really communicate now. But my point is, I'm talking about being able to start communicating naturally, but, you know, in like informal scenarios with friends and so on. You know, I'm not talking about 500, 500 hours to get to a point in which I could, you know, 
make a lecture in Harvard, you know, or well, in this case in in I don't know Rome or or <laughs> any Italian city, right? So my point is, well, for, for like before getting to the point, year and a half, two years, it's to me is way more um, realistic, all right. And again, I'm not talking about fluency. I'm talking about being able to communicate, which by the way, one and a half, two years in order to be able to communicate in a new language, I think it's pretty good, isn't it? And it's also consistent with what, what we see in kids actually, right? Uh, but the thing is, you know, it's not gonna take you two or three months, like I said, but so one and a half years, two years was my experience with Italian. And again, you, you can go over to the video in which I actually share my, the document that I used to, to document the whole process. All right. So, so you can see what resources I use like every single day. All right. Like, you know, I got exposed to cartoons for 50 minutes uh, for the first month and so on and so on. All right. So I'm not making up these numbers. That's my point. You know, like I actually documented everything. But the thing, I mean, from my experience, a year and a half, two years, I think, I mean, in my eyes, that's that's pretty good. You know, to to get to a point in which you can communicate in a new language. All right. But it's nowhere near fluency, like I said. But the good news is, is also, you know, it's, it's not going to take you 10 years either. All right. And it, it depends on how how long you get exposed to the language on a daily basis once again you know if you get exposed to the language through two hours a day you know it's going to take you less time to get there as opposed to getting exposed to the language for 20 minutes right because as long as you get comprehensible input it's all about how much time you get exposed to the language at the end of the day all right but you know just to wrap things up here the point of the whole episode is to well, first of all, to help you realize that there's no shortcut, all right? But I believe that's great news because you know that if you follow the right principles, you're actually going to be able to learn the language in a much more realistic way. And it's going to happen, you know? And you're not going to feel frustrated because other people claim to, to have made it happen in two or three months and you couldn't. So you're not going to feel bad you know, about yourself. You're, you're not going to think that, that you're not talented with languages. You're not going to think that you're never going to learn a new language, right? Which is false. So that's, that's the reason why I think it's excellent news. All right. But uh, I, 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 want, I really wanted to, to create this episode because it, I see it all the time, you know, and I actually, I even see it with myself, even now that I'm totally convinced by how the process actually works and by you know being patient and the whole thing you know if if i don't patient if i don't pay attention to my thoughts i might find myself you know thinking about some sort of hack you know to to speed up the process once again but fortunately like i said there's no shortcut to learning the language and that's actual news all right so yeah so thank you for for listening to this episode uh, until the end all right i really appreciate it and i really hope it's you know this episode and all the all the episodes are helping you like emotion realize that you too can learn any language when you're in the process okay that that's that's what i'm coming from that's my that's my intent all right like I, i'm criticizing mainly the traditional grammar approach all the time but the main the main message I want to convey here is because I, I felt it myself. All right, I, I've been I've been there, I've been frustrated myself, and and now I just love the process and it works. So my main idea is to help you realize that you can learn another language. Like my intent is is that to to help you forget about those frustrations and so on, and to wrap things up once again. This is not about delusional, motivational stuff, you know, that, yeah, yeah you, you can do whatever you want and, you know, but that's, that, that's another topic, all right? But I just, I feel it, you know, like deep down and I've seen it myself and I see it all the time. And again, 
is the same process by which we all acquire native languages. And it, the process worked for, uh, for all of us, or every single one of us, okay? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you or I'll see you in the next one, yeah? And as usual, if you're listening to this on YouTube or any platform where you can leave your messages, feel free to do so, any question, opinion, uh, idea, suggestion, whatever it is. I'll be more than happy to help you out, to answer your, to your questions, and you'll, you'll be giving me ideas for future episodes as well. So yeah, thank you in advance for that, and thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my friends. Thank you.